Now that you've set up your email signature, I've had a few people ask how they can turn it off when they're sending replies or forwards. I'm in the Outlook web app at this point, and you'll notice when I create a new email, my signature automatically appears, which is what I've set it to do. The easiest thing to do from here if you don't want that email to show up is just simply highlight it and delete it, and then you can type out your email and send it. Um, if you would like to change the settings, you can go into Options, See All Options, and on the left, choose Settings. This is exactly the same place where we went to create the signature. And you'll notice that below the signature box here, we have a checkbox that says Automatically Include My Signature on Messages I Send. I send. So I can uncheck that and save it. I will tell you that it does seem to take a little bit of time for that to fully take effect. So if I were to go create a new email right now, my signature would still show up. But over time, it's going to um, take that setting. Honestly, I prefer to leave it checked and hit save. And then when I create an email, if I don't want the signature, I can just delete it. In the web app, there is not actually a way for you to designate when the signature appears. However, if I go into Outlook and create a new email, I'm going to go into my, you'll notice that my signature is there. I'll go into my signature settings, go signatures, and go down to signatures here. I can make a designation as to when I want the email signature to appear. So I've got two of them. In right now I've got one signature called Cindy Tucker and one called test and you'll notice on the right hand side I've got my email account selected it's the only only email account I have associated with this application right now under new messages I can choose which of my two email signatures I want to go out on all new messages then you'll notice I have an option for replies and forwards I can choose either one of these but I'm actually going to leave it on none because if you send me an email, I'm going to assume you already know who I am and you don't need to see my signature on the way back. But that is one of the benefits of using Outlook 2010. You do have that option to designate when you want signatures and when you don't want them. If you're using the web app though, it's easy. Just delete it and go on.